for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As part of the Immigration Act of 1990, the diversity visa lottery was established as a way to diversify the United States. Over the past 28 years, the visa lottery has helped to fortify the image of our country and enlarge the greatness of America through the immigrant population. The Diversity Immigrant Visa Program awards up to 50,000 visas each year that presents permanent residency in the U.S. and serves as a pathway to citizenship. The lottery has been an imperative in creating a new opportunities for African and Caribbean individuals seeking citizenship in the U.S. The proposed immigration bills today uh, that will be coming to the floor aim to limit the refugee admissions, eliminate the diversity lottery, and reduce the number of employment-based visas distributed ye each year. As Americans begin many of the pastimes of the summer that are quintessentially American, baseball, backyard barbecue, family road trips, Caribbean Americans this month of June reflect on our contributions and the melded culture in the United States through the Caribbean American Heritage Month. Ironically, the bills that are coming on the floor this same month will end the diversity visa lottery program, which has allowed many Caribbean people to come and be a part of the American experience. In a month of polarized politics and the Trump administration's assault on increasing diversity in this nation, Caribbean American Heritage Month serves as a perfect counterpoint example to support the doctrine of Americanism. Congress and President George W. Bush adopted the Caribbean American Heritage Month in 20, 2006. While the act establishing Caribbean American Heritage Month emphasized the present influence of Caribbean Americans, American history would not be complete without the integration and support of Caribbean people. From Americans founding to the present, Caribbean people have supported and assisted in the creation of a collective American identity. The articulation of this nation's rightful place in the world, its traditions, its language, and its cultural style. From Alexander Hamilton to American Revolution Haitian Jean de Guerre, Libre, free men of color, fighting troops, slave revolt leader Denmark Vesey, to Colin Powell's shock and awe doctrine. The Caribbean emphasis on revolutionary and righteous ideals enforced through martial action have supported American ideals both home and abroad. In today's culture, many are surprised by the placement of Americans of Caribbean descent. They include former Attorney General Eric Holder to iconic personalities like Lenny Kravitz and Beyonce, economic minds such as Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta President Raphael Bostic to actors Kerry Washington, Jada Pinkett Smith, athletes like Tim Duncan, Mariano Rivera, Carmelo Anthony, to journalist Joy Reid and U.S. Senator Kamala Harris. These scions of Caribbean region are completely American, yet in many ways their Caribbean heritage informs and accounts for the attributes which should have assisted them in their advancement and supported American greatness. That philosophy is borne out with recent immigrants and naturalized Caribbean people. According to the Migration Policy Institute, Latin American and Caribbean people account for the largest percent of foreign-born military personnel, and that group constitutes 38% of all foreign-born that are in the armed forces. Additionally, according to the 2004 U.S. Census Bureau report, about 66% of Caribbean immigrants and immigrants overall were in civilian labor force, compared to 62% of native-born. According to the Caribbean Policy Institute, Caribbean blacks have labor force participation rates that exceed the average of U.S. natives and all immigrants combined. The study from this institute has showed that collectively, Caribbean people have higher median incomes earnings than all immigrants in the U.S. The proposed zero tolerance immigration policy has resulted, as we've seen, thousands of children being torn apart from their families children being held in prolonged family detention centers, and this bill eliminates protections that are in place to ensure safe and basic living needs. It is our duty to stop the separation of children. It is our duty to see that America remains great through the diversity that it entails. We cannot allow this bill to go forward 
which would eliminate the diversity lottery that has created the diverse American culture that we have through service, through ideals, even through protests. Immigrants have made this a great nation. President Trump issued a proclamation on May 31st of 2018, which stated that Caribbean American Heritage Month is a time in which America will honor America's long shared history with our neighbors. But he, it, it would appear to be Everyone's ignorant of the fact expired. that it's not a shared history. Our neighbor's history is our American history. I yield back.